Hey everybody, welcome back to Drawbridge Finance. Today I'm showing you how I have my Interactive Brokers chart settings set up so that you can follow along with my trade alerts. Let's get into this. All right, so here we go, Interactive Brokers. If you guys haven't already watched the other video on how to set it up, this is pretty simple. If, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Levi Woods. I'm a longtime dividend investor turned option trader. I run this channel to help people like you make more informed decisions about their investments. Really, this is about education. So if you're interested in following along on my trades, you can check those out on Patreon. If you wanna follow along in the videos, it's really easy, just click subscribe right here and all the videos are free. You guys can check it out and learn along with me. Uh, as always, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't work in the finance industry and this is an opinion channel only, not offering financial advice in any ways. This is what the chart looks like when you very first open up Interactive Brokers. So I'm gonna show you really quickly, the first thing I like to add is the volume. It's right down here in the bottom corner. You just click on it right here. Click, volume, pop. It just pops right up. We're looking at the daily candles and you can see there's no moving averages on here and that's what everybody wants to add, are the moving averages. So the simplest way is to right click and when you do that, you just go add study. That's the important one here. Click on add study. And then you can either go to all studies or you can go to moving averages and then you can just choose either a simple moving average or an exponential moving average. Those are the ones that most traders use when they just use moving averages. So I'll show you how to do this. We can click on exponential moving average and it's just gonna pop it into place. Now it's buried inside of that. So if I scroll into this chart a little bit, you see it, it's added that blue line. That's the exponential moving average. You can right click on it and you can open up the studies, the chart parameters window. Now in here are the moving averages as well. So if you wanna add some more, you just click this to open and we can just click on simple moving average and just double click and it'll just add it over to the other side. Now you can see in here that it has this number 999 and that's the number of days in this case, the so daily candles. So what we wanna do is we're gonna click on the exponential and I like to use 20 for my exponential and then for my simple one of them i'm going to set at 50 hit enter i hit enter and it didn't show up so i'm going to show you a different way to add it as well so if we go up here to view click on view you can turn on legend right here and what that will do is it will tell you what you're looking at so ema 9 delayed the market's closed which is why it's showing delayed and so we can just click on this little wrench and that will take us into that same window. It'll pop this up and we can take a look again, change that to 200 and we'll just type that in. Click on apply. And when we click apply, you'll see that they appear here. So now we can see those simple moving averages. So when we scroll out, we can see them kind of buried in the chart. And that makes it a lot easier to see where the stock is trading relative to its trend. Now there's a couple other things that we can add in here and they're all up in this settings menu. So up in the right hand corner, there's this little gear. If we click on that, now, if you're Canadian and you're not using Interactive Brokers, you're paying way too much in fees. So use my referral link down below, click on that, open a paper trading account, follow some trades and start to learn how to trade options because it is amazing how much money we have been making this year in this downturn, upturn, the craziness of the market. Just click on settings and it shows you this window here. So there's a couple things in this window that we can turn on. One is the splits and dividends, if we turn that on, and then the margin area. The margin area is really important because it makes the chart a lot easier to look at. So click on margin area and then click apply. And what that does when we have the margin area is it moves this over, it creates this offset on the right side of the chart. And then the other thing that we can see on here that has been added are these dividend payouts. So we can see these past dividend payouts are highlighted in yellow. So that's something if you're a dividend investor, you can have that setting on. So that's all we need to do there is margin. So we're gonna click apply. We've already said that, we've gone to okay. Now in this window, which I get to by either clicking on the wrench, you can get to it by right clicking and going down to the chart parameters and it's got the studies in here, the study window that we're looking at. Here's the chart parameters. And then this is another one that I put on all the time, which is the standard deviation. So we're gonna click that on and click apply. It actually shows this blue cone. Now, if you're after hours and it's not showing up, you can actually show data outside of regular trading hours. You can click apply. I, I just leave that off normally. And that's as simple as it is. This is my setup. So I have volume down at the side. I have the margin checked so that there's a margin on the right. And I have my three moving averages. Oh, and this one's changed actually. So I'm just gonna, to edit this, I can just click on the little wrench here and go to studies. And I'm gonna change this to a 
20 day. Is. So now we can see where this is trading relative to its simple moving averages and we can see this ex expectation, this cone based on its past performance and its current volatility, we can see what the expectation is moving forward somewhere in this blue cone. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to hit the like button down below. It helps the channel a ton and helps me make more videos so we can all get rich together. Thanks so much for watching and see you very soon.